Here we have an EVGA graphics card. This one is the FTW 3390 that came in for repair. A very popular card that we get in on daily basis. I actually have three of those cards I'm working with right now. One, two, and we have one more. And all of them are on my bench for today. Three. So when I say a very popular card, I mean a very popular card that fails on a regular basis. And it looks like Big Boss just put another card, but this one is not the EVGA. This one is a Gigabyte. Okay. We'll take a look at this maybe in a later video. Looking at the card, I can tell the card have seen better days. It looks like a mess with all that thermal paste. I do not know what environment this card is used in, but it does not look too good. Now, a very common problem with those cards, actually multiple common problems, but let's do this step by step. I'm gonna measure for a 12 volt short because EVGA 3090s, FTW3s are known to have a 12 volt short. If we measure the first coil on top, meter in diode mode, or we can measure at the current sense resistor, or we can measure at the fuse. And look at this, the fuse does not look too good. Let's start with the fuse. Do we have, is it continuous? And hmm, meter in continuity mode, measure from here to here. zero point zero nine seven that's weird we should get we should read at that zero zero point one one zero diode mode let me test to ground if we go here to ground we have a reading of actually a fluctuating reading zero point twenty zero point thirty zero point twenty one zero point twenty four okay and here we have a that short actually not at that short no zero point zero four six that's weird. This is the first time we get something that reads like this. One end is showing 0 0.1, which is considered very low voltage drop. And the other one is reading, the other side is reading 0 0.050. And the fuse is not open. There is a reading 0 0.14. Let's measure at the coil. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. I mean, the coil is reading just like the fuse. Fluctuating in numbers, 0 0.041, 0 0.1, 0 0.0, 0 0.005, it's fluctuating all over the place. Resistance mode is also fluctuating between 30 and 140 ohms. There's something going on. This is a short, but it's not a dead short. It's not a full short to ground. It's a partial short where we still have some resistance left and something is causing that partial short. Let me take a look at those DR MOSFETs. Just a quick visual inspection. I want to see if there's anything obvious. Any solder balls bulging or any burn marks or any layer damage. And if somebody is looking for any hair extensions, we have a lot here. I mean, I do not see anything obvious. One thing I want to try is, can we inject voltage on a partial short and still see a heat spot on the thermal camera? And of that short, we're going to connect the ground to the side here. And today I'm using blue gloves because I'm out of the black gloves and we have a box of blue gloves. So good for a change, right? All right, so we're going to inject voltage at the partial short and see what happens. 
Oh, I see something hot right over here. Not the DR MOSFETs, but something next to memory. Watch. I got it. I got it. Right there. Right where my finger is. Right here. And the chip. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. We have a burnt chip. This is the NCP 302150. I do not know if I have that chip in stock. I have a lot of NCPs, but I can probably grab that chip from a donor board, no problem. And while at it, let me check the PAX rail. I want to make sure the PAX reading is good. Maybe the GPU is dead. Who knows? Are we going to get the normal between 4 to 9 ohm reading? And we have a 6.3 ohm reading. That's perfect. What about our 1.8 volt line? We should be in the 220 ohms. And we have 236 ohms. Perfect. So our GPU may still be good. Our core may still be good. Let's go ahead and replace that component. What caused it to burn? I don't know. Maybe you can do your thesis on it and let me know. If you figure it out, I would like to know. We're going to replace the chip and hope for the best. I mean, the cord looks like a mess, so heat could be a factor. So pin number one is on the top left. I mean, I do have a lot of donors, so it's okay. We can always figure out where pin number one is, but I always, I always make it into a habit of labeling where pin number one is, just so that I can make my life easier. So the partial short is coming from this chip, and that chip smells like fireworks. That chip smells like fireworks. Wow. Why isn't my fume extractor on? That supply solder while that board is still hot. So we can drop it like it's hot. We can barely see what's going on because the board is black. The ring light will focus the light. It will direct the light back at the lens. So we have to use something called the anti-glare light. And that's what I love about Amtec Flux, the original genuine Amtec Flux. It cleans easy. I want to measure to see if we still have a short. Right here. We're going to measure the fuse. Are we going to get a zero ohm reading on the fuse like we should? Or are we still going to get a partial short? And look at this. We have a zero ohm reading. And if we measure at the coil right here, Perfect, 0 0.51, awesome. We got rid of the partial short and we have the proper reading. Let me measure at the donor board and make sure we do not have a short circuit. Do we have a short circuit here? 0 0.5 or 0 0.49, 0 0.5. And we have the proper reading, no short circuit. So we're going to assume that this chip is good. If we do not have a short and the chip looks good, it's probably good.
What I want to do is put a metal plate under the cord. The mat is going to melt through that hole because hot air is reaching the mat and I can smell it. So now I have that metal plate. It's the same plate that we use on our magnetic board holder. You can look it up on our site, northfishfix.com. Click on shop. And whatever tools we are using on the bench here, for the most part, are sold on our site. Everything from this amazing microscope, hot air station, soldering station, flux, everything. Just add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out Sunday. And we are done. We are using the Northridge Fix brush, 99% isopropyl and Kimtech wipes, lint-free Kimtech wipes. All right, so let's go ahead and test the cord. Let me put the fume extractor off. We do not need it anymore. Let's go ahead and plug in the cord, PCIe adapter. We have three 12 volt inputs. I do not know if you can see it. The cables are a bit short. So we have the PCIe adapter that connects directly to the motherboard. We have three inputs here, one, two, and three. And are we going to get a working cart? Six beeps. No, the cart is not working, but there's something weird going on. I see a flashing, a light flashing on the back. The light should not flash like that. Something is going on. We're going to test at the 12 volt line, make sure we are getting 12 volts. Then we're going to test 5 volts, 1.8, memory, packs, and see what's going on. So power supply on. Do we have 12 volts where we initially measured for a partial short? Six point. <laughs> Look at this. We are reading on a 12 volt line, we are reading 6.43 volts. If I measure the other coil, we have 12. And if I measure the third coil, we have 12. But one of them is reading 6.3 volts. What about the fuse? If we measure one side of the fuse, I mean, that fuse was reading partially good. So maybe the problem is the fuse. Are we going to get 12 volts on one end of the fuse? Yes, 12.2. If we read the other end of the fuse, look at this. On the other end of the fuse, we are reading 6.6 .6 volts. I have not seen a partially bad fuse yet. First time. First time. The fuse is partially bad. I mean, the fuse is either good or bad but partially good or partially bad. I do see a burn mark at the fuse. So we are getting in 12 volts, but the fuse has six volts on the other end. So it's acting more like a resistor. Let's go ahead and remove it. And we're going to grab a new fuse. And we are done.
Hopefully now the card will work. Are we going to get an image or six beeps? Six beeps meaning the card is not working. One, two, and three. Power supply on. And now the lights are not flickering. Look at this. The light is not flickering now, but we still have six beeps. So the card is still not working as of now, six beeps. PEX is measuring 6.9, 1.8 is measuring 220 ohms, no voltage on 1.8. We do have volts, we do have voltage on our 12 volt line, on our 5 volt lines, but not 1.8. We do not have any voltage on core, memory or PEX. Let me measure right here quick, our 12 volt line at the connector and look at this, we are getting an OL. Are you kidding me? We have an OL, open line, at our 12 volt rail on the connector. What about our 3.3 volts? We are getting a reading, but not here. What does that mean? It means we're going to leave the cord until tomorrow, because right now it's time to go home. One thing I want to check is that fuse on the back and the fuse is blown. Great. The fuse is blown. Is the fuse shortened to ground? And the fuse is shortened to ground. 101 issues with this cord. Okay, so we do have an OL reading down here at the 12 volt line. I flipped the board and we have a short circuit on the fuse on the back here. We're going to have to leave this until tomorrow. Right now it's time to go home. I wish I had more time so I can finish that card, but I will leave it until tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a part two. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.